Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. We have just finally brought back the water seat back to the water palace, and we've been told to head to the northern lands to go to another temple and seal another mana seat. But it's going to take us quite a ways further, much further than we've ever been before. Fortunately, the Canon Travel Center will bring us that far. Whoa! Look how far we're going this time. Up, oh, we're gonna land in the middle of the woods. Uh, I don't think it took us the whole way. Oh, damn it. That's really gotta hurt. Oh, jeez. That little bastard's gotta have reoccurring concussions going left and right. He doesn't have significant brain damage by now. I mean, jeez. Okay, so we've landed in a little... Well, I wouldn't call this a village. But it's a place full of Moogles. Hey, look, Watts is up here. How'd you get here? I don't have any weapons for him right now. Any weapon orbs. We've landed in this little gathering of Moogles. Who have been pushed out of their home by these pebblers. Little monsters that went in and basically displaced them. Now you look here, we have a silk tail. Now this thing looks a lot like the rabbi monsters that we've been fighting earlier, the first monsters of the game. But they're pink and they're a lot more difficult. They hit you harder, they move a little faster, I think. Or maybe not. And you also do a lot more damage. Whoa, what the hell was that? A dragon? Okay, Nico. We've run across Nico up here. And he is the only source of better weapons and armor right now. Fortunately, I went and got the um, next level down in Pandora before heading up here. I had neglected upgrading armor for a little while, but I did it before heading up here, so I'm going to be fine. Now, I would consider this one to be the more difficult portions of the game. I attribute that to be a little bit of a poor design, and the reason why I say that is because there is no inn up here. There's no place we can go and rest and restore your HP and MP. Although you can save at Nico, there are no beds to rest in. So, in the event that you want to restore your HP or MP, you have to buy items from Nico, which are, of course, cost twice as much as they do in normal places. You just saw that while I was talking over it a bit. There was another one of those reflection mirror, th mirror things where you need to cast a spell on it to get through, just like at the Underground Palace. Unfortunately, we do not yet have the power necessary to proceed through there. So I'm not going to waste any MP trying to destroy that thing. Hey, look at here. This is like the third season we've run through. It was winter, then spring, and now this is kind of a summer appeal to it. I mean, and different monsters. I mean, what's going on here? Creepy fish monster. Uh, that's one of the things I like about the spear. It has a status effect. If you hit an enemy with it, they get spaced out. The balloon appears above their head and they can't move. Oh, here are the pebblers. This was where the Moogles were living. Now I'm gonna hit them a bit with some magic. Not just, uh... Not just attack them with physical attacks, because these things are a little harder than you'd think. Now look at that. They get even more spaced out with this gigantic balloon with ears and a face if you charge up your attack before hitting them, and it lasts a little bit longer, I think. The reason why I'm using Acid Storm is because it lowers their defense. Unfortunately, the uh, level of our little sprite friend's magic is a little too low, and it doesn't last very long. Ah, uh, the whip doesn't seem to be a very effective weapon. Although Prim made effective use of that sword. Oh, look at that, I did hit him. Ugh, that's pathetic. <laughs> See, I got a little 
little frustrated there. When in doubt, use the sword. Some enemies don't like being, uh, or more capable of blocking attacks from certain levels. Apparently this, uh, oh, maybe not. I hate these pebbler things. Okay, now that we've taken down all of them, if you leave, the Moogles can return. Despite the town music playing, there is no real town here. Oh, recollection time. Okay. So that's a bit of a puzzle. How you get into the next section. Find your way back to, uh... Poopy's home. Now we're gonna get two weapon orbs here. Axe orb, and I forget what this one is. Glove orb. Now, as awesome as it is to get weapon orbs, <laughs> it is a little bit of a problem, because you're gonna be tempted to run right over the wops here, who's following you, apparently, and upgrade your weapons. Now, what you should be doing with that money, and it's going to cost you, what, uh, 800 GP to upgrade both those weapons, you should be going over to Nico and spending your money on his overpriced items. Like, a couple wishes, candy, chocolate, that kind of stuff, or maybe the better armor. Instead of wasting your money upgrading weapons, you're probably not going to be using for a little while. I have, I carry, uh, I'm confident enough that I don't need to buy any items. But if you're struggling at this point of the game, without an inn to rest at and all that, don't screw around upgrading the weapons. Okay, now the puzzle is, you walk the seasons from spring to winter. Spring comes, you can enter again, or something along those lines. What that means is kind of obvious. You just walk from one section of the map to another, which corresponds to a particular season, in the proper order, starting in spring, to summer, to fall, to winter. I messed it up when I walked in here. So let's try that again. Right now we're in autumn. So this is wrong. We don't want to be here. We can't start here. We need to head over to spring. Oh. Getting lost. Yeah, this is where the Moogles were before. It's now inhabited with monsters, so be careful. Okay, here we are at the start. This is spring, why the flowers and, I'm sorry, the leaves, why the leaves are pink, I don't know. Stupid, uh, crab. Land crab, I guess. Okay. Huh. Why do those rabbits have no legs? Okay, spring, summer. Silence, unlike in most Square Enix games, where silence means that you lose the ability to use magic, and that happens in a lot of RPGs, in this case it just confuses your character. It reverses the directional buttons. So you get confused and you go the wrong way. Okay, there is winter, and now once we return to spring, this is what happens. Something happens to the right. Nice. Let's, uh, see what that looks like. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Just run. Oh, damn. The axe is not the most effective weapon. 
Ah, uh, why does this thing have so much magic? Let's just get the hell out of here. It's <laughs> embarrassing. Just go. Okay, up here is the new. This is a new path, and it leads to or a Sprite Friends Village. What? Be prepared before you come here. If you have to, go to Nico and spend all of your money buying a couple of items. And pull Randy out, or whatever you named him out front, and give him the javelin. It's the most effective weapon, I think, against this monster. Ugh, this is gonna be such a pain in the ass. get spaced out, you can either use Udine's magic to um, go and cure him, or you can use a healing herb. Medical herb. Now, like usual, I could have gone and... Ah, oh, silence. I could have gone and just used magic over and over again and just spammed this spring beak over and over again with irritating magic attacks and it would be a very easy battle just like just about every fight in the game after you get magic but that's I'm gonna take a stance against that the reason why I used a javelin as a weapon against the spring beak beak is because you want something that can attack at a good range for when it hops on top of these platforms on the left or the right. It is also the one that is more likely to get past its defenses and actually do some damage, unlike the whip or the boomerang, which is just going to oftentimes bounce off of it. really just there for support, but they're not really doing a whole lot of support right now, are they? Okay, that does it. The sprite is out of magic, and I threw a little short with that attack. Remember, if you were to... You can recover magic by using a fairy walnut, which I have none of. What? Hit the thing. Ah, this thing just keeps using magic. Huh. And they keep running into getting an ass kicking. Stay away from it. Now you can, in the options screen, I'm not going to do that right now, but you can adjust their aggression. Across a sort of like chess or checkerboard, where you place the character closer to aggressive or defensive or like running away from fights, that kind of thing. The problem with that is there's no way of putting them on there that really makes them useful. Because if you put them too aggressive, they're always going to run up to an enemy and try to attack them. Which means that you can't get by enemies that you're just trying to avoid. Or, they'll run up there and recklessly get their asses kicked by getting too close to the enemy. And if you run, if you put them completely on the wussy side, always running from a fight, they will never attack the enemy. And they will also get themselves, or get everybody into trouble, because say you're trying to run past an enemy that you don't want to fight, they will not get anywhere near them, oftentimes meaning that you'll simply will not run past the enemy with you. Oh, jeez. Prim got hit twice there. Three times. Ugh. 
Oh, that could have gone better. <sighs> oh, down goes Randy. Prim only has 3 HP left. You do not get any closer than that. Fortunately, I do have enough cup of wish cups of wishes to bring these characters back. I'm not completely unprepared, folks. Ah, oh, got him. You didn't think I was going to do it, did you? I was getting my ass handed to me for quite a while there. And of course, we have a way to go. Way to go! Now, I don't know any other way of writing that out that makes it more or less proper. But just having the words way to go written there just seems odd. It doesn't sound right when you read it. It doesn't look right, rather. Okay, we have another mana temple here. Palace, whatever. Hey, who's that guy back there? Okay, we've been cured. Have an opportunity to save. And we've sealed the seed so we can move on. Now, we're going to be heading off to another village called Batango, and we're going to do that in the next episode. So tune for that one, and we'll see exactly what else we're supposed to be doing up here in the northern lands.